Hey guys, Panther again, and today I have my new Batama deck profile to show. So, um, yeah, and pretty cool sleeves, the promo sleeves, which you can only get from Point Exchange. Um, I think I have Ben's open now. Yeah, so let's get started on this new Batama deck. So, selling Vanguard, Kuroko, um, yeah, Kuroko, it's Kuroko. Like, it's basically half the synergy of the deck, there's no reason why not to run Kuroko. So, basically, the ability is, um, Sword Blast 1 when this boost attack hits, um, yeah, the boost of Vanguard, it has hit a Vanguard. You choose two cards from that bind zone and retire them. So yeah, basically half the synergy of the deck, no reason not to run it. So yeah, really good card. Um, so we go freeze. Um, one free the break, right? So, um, sure Stealth Dragon Kuji Kirigongo. So yeah, um, yeah, so basically break ride, plus 10k on your Vanguard. And your opponent has to discard a card and bind a card from their hand. So basically you can get rid of the hand really quickly of this. And yeah, just a really strong break ride. I'm really running free because um I'm running a lot of other grade freeze as well. So yeah, and I think it's fine at free. And its power going skill is when your opponent has three cards or less in their hand, which usually doesn't happen, so you won't get the power off that often. Um next up, free uh, Kabuki Kongo, which is the boss from set 13. So, it's a pretty strong boss because you can just farm your Prince Field with it. So, its ability is on um, Break 4. When you attack the Vanguard, you can lose 1. Your opponent buys all their rear guards. If your opponent has, and if your opponent has 3 cards or more, and their binds gets plus 10k. So, yeah. And all those cards are bound, go back to the hand. Just need, I won't say anymore, but like, yeah. All those, I'm just implying that now. So, yeah. Yeah, so basically you're just farming that field, you just put constant pressure every time. So even though you don't break right, and you're on, already on limit break, you can just keep farming their field and make them force to guard or they lose their field. So basically, it's a win-win situation. If they guard, they lose hand. If they don't guard, they lose field. So you don't have to use too much hand to like, protect yourself. And second skill is Canvas 1 plus 2k, which you will never use. Like, no way would you ever use that skill. Like, no reason to. Next up, um, one of the Fires Collection. Um, Yozakura Kongo? Yeah, Yozakura Kongo. So, Count Plus 1 is an active ability. Count Plus 1, choose two cards in your hand and discard it. And then this guy gets plus 10k until end of turn. And your opponent has to bind two cards in the hand. So, it's an okay finisher, I suppose, but you have to discard cards. So, this is more for advantage, which is why I got more of this. And this is for like a final turn burst. So, really, so it's a good card, I suppose. For bursting your opponent down, like when you break ride, your opponent discards and binds, and then you attack for 31, by, no, 33, because you would have more cards. So the second skill is um, if you have more cards in hand, your opponent gets plus 2k. But um, what I forgot to mention about this is that um, it only works if your opponent has four cards or more in their hand. It won't work if they have four cards or wait, is it four cards or more? Yeah. So if they have three or less, it won't work on them. So that's why you need to know. And finally, I'm in one. Um, Void Master? Yeah, Void Master. So, Void Master is actually a mid game pressure card. Um, so, basically, when it hits anything, Camos 1, if it less cards in your hand, your opponent discards a card. So, I'm running a lot of the second one cards because you're just forcing your opponent to discard their hand. And, like, if you're into losing, this can, like, change the game a lot by just attacking and make them force 5k on, like, really undesirable rear guards they didn't want. And they had, like, they had. Bring out like a like a 10k attacker, grade one. You can just um, boost with an 8k attack by 17 on that. So they have to drop 15, or they lose the rear guard and lose another card. So it's minus two either way. So, yeah. so that's why I like running like type of card. I have the grade threes. Grade twos. I'm running on um, four. Cockajo. So this is your main beat stick of the deck. So what it does is, during a turn when a opponent's card is sent to the bind zone, it gets plus 2k until end of turn. So yeah, really, sh you're really strong beast stick. So if, with um, with um, this guy, it becomes a 19k attacker if you bind all five rear guards, which is really good. And based by second, uh, by a 7k, it becomes 26k. And yeah, and stands do exist in this deck, but it doesn't really synergize as well as you would like it to. But yeah, no reason to want to rank four. Um, three Tomahaganes, self beast Tomahagane. So basically, your your early game binding card. So when you comb, you just bind a rear guard. And yeah, so you just combo that with the starter. And you just ride a turn two, you can pop their starter. Which is really nice. Do turn two. And that's pressure on them as well. And finally, I run three 10Ks. Because 
I don't own AK, so you can hit crosswise like that. And it's just a solid, like, the angle to have in turn two. And yeah, nothing bad to run as well. Like, I wouldn't run the Never Break plus 3k on grade two one. Like, that one's not good. Um, of course, the staple for Dreadmasters. It's a staple in all the hard decks that come and go. Um, so when this booster hits anything, um, count boss one, if it less cards you hand the opponent, the opponent discards a card. So really strong pressure throughout the game. Like, yeah, this card's a pressure beast, like just killing the opponent's hand. Four AKs, as I said. Oh, I was gonna run four. This is a really strong card to have because, like, if you just buy two cards with with Crocodile on the field, it becomes 13k, so you hits a 21. It's like sometimes you do will have awkward binding numbers, and sometimes it doesn't work in the end. That's why it's good to have eight Ks to have that one K matter. And when you ride a ton one, you just like, you can go out fairly early as well. Because Kyle Moss is not that needed in this neck. So it's fine. Um I want three perfect guns. Because you most of the time your hand's gonna be really small. So I think three perfect guns is absolutely fine. You could run four, like that's your choice, if personal preference. But yeah, three perfect guns is it's pretty fine. Like it's like running seven grade threes. But yeah. We have a perfect box. If I run one of this dude, Fuki, so um, basically, Camus 1 moves to the soul. If your opponent has three, car have three cards or more in their hand, they bind a card. So yeah, basically, yeah, diminishes the hand, and yeah, adds more pressure, and fools up your soul, because yeah, this is like one you're wasting and fool up your soul, because sometimes you might run out of soul. I never had that problem sometimes. I actually never do, yeah. Wait, sometimes never do. No, I never have that problem. So for great for basic great zeros, I'm actually running three um Hayaka Race. Because because I'm running only three Pether Gods, I think having more ten K shields is pretty good, in my opinion. So when you guard with him, your opponent it's basically um this guy as a guard. So when you guard you activate this guy's effect. So it's really nice. Um only three because yeah, this is really does score big great ratios when you run more great zeros than you have to. But yeah, I like it. I like it. So yeah. Um. So for triggers, you <laughs> like there's no choice. Um. I was actually considering not running 16 triggers, but I realized how I was retarded. So rainbow triggers, because that's the only choice we have. Yeah. So that was my new baton with the deck profile. Um. Probably show you. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing much to show. Like this deck is can actually. Turn a winning, a losing game into a potential break-even game, and maybe even winning. So yeah, this is my new top of the deck profile, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.